Derek, your thoughts on uh, the weekend's match? Another chance to play against Celtic, obviously this time under different circumstances. Yeah, I think uh, we showed in a lot in that game how much um, confidence we can take from that. You know, I think it, it certainly was a good level of performance for individually. We did a lot right in the game. Um, a lot was made about the surface afterwards and um, you know sometimes that can overshadow it but I thought the level of performance you actually analyse it as manager and coaches I thought we did so much right in the game um, obviously we still need to come up with that big moment and Mali come up with it on the day um, and it's trying really to try and kind of mirror a lot of what we did in that game um, you know I felt even last season going to Celtic Park uh, we uh, we competed really well for long spells. We competed well against uh, against them in the semi-final at Hamden. So we have to um, really kind of rely on more concentration, more organisation. Uh, we need um, good discipline about us, but we also need to try and just like any team you go to, any team where a manager who a club like ourselves have to go to Celtic Park. You've got to do it a lot, right? Normally a goalkeeper has to do uh, pull off saves and be busy, but. We, it wasn't the case the last time out when we played them, but you know I think Celtic um, uh, are up and running a wee bit more at this moment in time. Um, but we're confident, and we should be confident going into the game. I want my players to remind to remind themselves about how how we did do well in the game and and try and be that team for as much as we can. What what's it going to take to in recent weeks turn those sort of draws and those performances into into those wins? Yeah, uh, concentration. Um, you know I think that we, we've been guilty. The three games we've lost this season, you know, the first game against Ross County we lost, I think it was such a pure refereeing decision on the day, the goal chopped off and we were more than uh, worthy of a point. But the two games that we lost this season, Muddle away last minute, 99th minute, Hearts in the Cup, um, you know, something similar, 90 odd minutes, um, we were probably just guilty of a bit over exuberance and a bit kind of being a bit excitable in the game and chasing the game. and. We, we lost both games on a counter-attack um, and that is a reminder for us, certainly going into a game at Celtic where they've got a lot of pace and a lot of um, that sort of dynamic to eat the ground up quickly. Um, we can't allow ourselves to be open. Um, so in answer to your question, the draws we've had in isolation all been quite, not, not a disaster, drawing away at Dundee, drawing with Hibs here, um, drawing with St Murn, the team in good form. Um, you know, each result in isolation isn't a, a, a bad result, but when you put those last three draws out of three games, then you're looking to try and get a win. Celtic Park's the most challenging game at the minute to just to go and go and win. Um, but it's we have to try and set ourselves up to go and do that. In terms of Stuart Finlay was just in there, he was just saying that you're very close and he feels that one win can kickstart a run and make it that momentum and get it going again. Does that feel within the squad that you are, you're almost due a win now to... To kick on. Yeah, but I don't want us to be relying on that. You know, I've spoke to the players about trying to make our own luck and try to make things happen for ourselves, show more determination. Brad Lyons go against them um, <coughs> last week as a case in point where he went and made something happen where he was second favourite. Um, we've got to uh, not be that team who are just sitting back waiting to win or hoping to win. We've got to go and try and make it happen. Stuart's right in a sense where. Um, I don't think there's been anything, we've not been outplayed by any team, we've played 13 games now, um, we've played Hearts twice, Hibs, Rangers, Celtic, we've not been outplayed by anybody, but we can still be better and improve and I think we will improve as we go along and improvement um, can come through performance and certainly um, get a few more wins, um, turning those draws into wins could be so important for clubs like ourselves. You mentioned almost a, a different beast than Celtic since you faced them the last time. Just what have you made of them so far up to now? Yeah. Obviously playing tonight. I, st I still probably don't think Brendan thinks they're, they're where exactly where he wants them to be and I still kind of, um, they've still got key players, a couple of key players missing as do most teams but I think, um, you know, certainly the last couple of weeks I think um, they probably took a lot of confidence from winning the old firm game and I think from then on in they've been a wee bit more kind of, um, Zipping their play, a wee bit more um, eagerness, not eagerness, but maybe a bit more kind of um, convincing with their pressing as well. I, I, there's signs there that that's starting to look more like a, a, a Brendan Rodgers team. So, um, And obviously, we've got to be aware of going to Celtic Park, we expect a tough game, but I want Celtic to, to fail us on Saturday. I want them to think that they've got to play really well to try and overcome us. Um, 
and it's important that my players go into the game um, believing regardless of how Celtic turn up, we, we're, we're good enough to get a desired outcome. Are you going tonight? Do you think that will be a factor come? I think uh, the game tonight, I think is, you know, everybody's focus will be on that, I'm sure it's Celtic part, but they've been long enough in the tooth to be able to get themselves ready domestically again. You know, I think it'll be a um, good atmosphere tonight. I think it'll be a challenging game for Celtic. And if they, if they win the game, then they can take so much positives from it. Um, I think, uh, from our point of view, we've just had a good few days preparing. We, we're off tomorrow, we'll, we'll rest down tomorrow and just make sure that we try to... We've got one or two issues with players at the minute, a couple of carrying wee knocks. So we're hoping that we can get some good fortune on that. And then come in on Friday, I've got a team in mind that I want to play and hopefully everybody's fit to play in that team. How is the squad looking? We've got a few knocks. Obviously, Kel McGuinness is the most significant one. He's had a scan and will be out um, probably for eight to ten weeks. It's been a significant hamstring tear off the tendon. It's, he's not had any issues with that hamstring before. It's a real blow for us and the boy. Um, so, so unlucky and unfortunate. He's been a, such a key player for us. So we're all feeling for Kyle at the minute and we'll support them to get, get them back as quickly as possible. Um, Mally Watkins is, is pushing to try and get back for the weekend with a groin issue complaint. So again, we just needed to make sure that we don't take any additional risk with that because you know we feel as though if he misses this game on Saturday, then it'll be good to go for the next few while. But he's still pushing to be fit for the weekend. Uh, and we've got a couple of wee knocks um, they've picked up in training from two or three key players, which has been far from ideal. So, We'll see where we're sitting um, come Friday. Um, hopefully the physios can get to work on one or two and hopefully we'll get as strong a squad as possible. Obviously you talked about the lot of talk happening here when you beat them at, on that Astro pitch. Going to Celtic Park is obviously a different animal. Do you take any positives from what St Johnson managed to go there and do? Uh, yeah, we've, we've watched that game. We've watched a few games uh, Celtic have played this season. Um, you know, I, like I say, it's... Um, a lot was made of the result in the pitch because of the result. I think you know it's um, the pitch was never mentioned last season. It was um, Celtic skelter this year, you know. So um, and like I say, we have we are no interest. We're actually looking forward to going to playing at Celtic Park. So it was a good arena, an arena that a lot of my players were playing in for the first time. So it's um, a good test for us. I'll find out a lot with my team on Saturday, but we go into the game hoping that we we know that we can be in the game, as we have been, been at every game this season um, against whatever opponent, um, with a fair share of his spoils, um, and it's particularly in a game like Saturday, that the need for maximum concentration, making good decisions, and trying to um, make the most of your opportunities, no truer, um, no game can be um, more relevant than, than that for the weekend. How is Kyle? Because that's a... That's yeah. How is he? Well, you know what? He, he's um, he actually f he was anticipating the scan results to be honest because it was quite high up. Um, he's had a hamstring issue on the other hamstring before, and it was a totally different type of pain. So he, um, we, the doctors and the, and the medical team thought on Saturday after the game that, that it possibly could be off the top of the tendon, which um, is a significant injury. Ten to twelve weeks, a lot of time. We're hoping. Um, with the, the type of boy he is and the strength he's got because he's a really strong boy we're hoping that we can maybe get him um, back a, a touch closer than that but he's been terrific for me he's no missed a training session I actually wrestled with the fact that three games in a week because he'd played obviously the, the cup game he'd played the previous Saturday um, and I hadn't named the team on Friday and I spoke to him Friday night and he was really keen to go he felt good um, I didn't want to expose him unnecessarily but um but it was a completely different uh, part of the body that he's that he's never felt, he's never had any issues and such is the way sometimes, you know, I feel for the boy, I, I went through a period, of, uh, a lot of injuries over a certain period of time um, and it was a long part of my career where I went injury free and, and I'm hoping that that's going to be the case for him because he's, he's made such a good impact for us and, you know, it didn't help matters that he scored their own goal, he's had better weeks, you know, so, um, but he did, the, he scored their own goal doing the right thing, matching a run and, and showing a desire to keep the ball at the net. Um, he's impressed everybody since he's been here and the boy deserves a bit of good fortune and we'll be there shoulder to shoulder when we try and get him back as quickly as possible. That's what I was just about to say, how important is it now that with the unity of the squad, the club and everyone's behind him because again it's another yeah. body blow for a, a young player that's obviously got the talent but just... Yeah, totally the and work. there'll be people out there who'll say I told you so and, and uh, mocking that which is ridiculous, you know, the boy has been 
good as goal since he's been here. He's a really popular member of the squad, and we will get we will get round him. The good thing is mentally he's been through some similar period of time out with different injuries. So, and it is important that you uh, you attack the work, you attack your rehab because it can make the, the difference when you come back. So, um, it'll be like a new signing in January when he does come back. Um, um, but for now, we need to try and win games and get results without him.